how our people got to wake up to the illusion of living a celebrity life. Education Monday, Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday. Education Monday. Peace and blessings, everyone. This is the Tribe Root Studio once again. And my name is Alina Zahilo, speaking from the Tribe Root Studio. At the foothills of the mountains of the moon in Uganda is Africa. Africa. So today, I'm going to speak about this celebrity illusion. Everyone knows some celebrity. Everyone admires some celebrity. A lot of people want to become celebrities. They want to be famous because they know some celebrity. They, they want to be like. But today, from the Tribal Roots Studio, we are trying to scrutinize and see how celebrities are destroying our societies and how our people got to wake up to the illusion of living a celebrity life. First forward, I would like to say a lot of our children, a lot of our youth have the wrong kind of models, examples, people they look up to because those very celebrities have gained some status where everyone thinks they really matter because they have great followings. The danger in this is there's a limitation even to who a celebrity is. There is a very, very limited space for who becomes a celebrity. In most cases, it's, it's the musicians, it's the footballers, basketballers, it's the athletes. In most cases, it's the actors and actresses. When you ask people to define what a celebrity is, they'll give you a definition in those categories. She's a singer, she's an actress, she's a dancer, she's a model. Those are the kinds of celebrities we have. Now let's be honest about something. What would you wish for your child to be in the future after going through education, training and grooming? What would you like them to be? I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure not most parents would come out and say, I would like my, parent, my child to be a footballer or a single one. When we were growing up, myself as a singer, our parents discouraged us. And when your parent speaks to you, they tell you, I need you to be a lawyer, I need you to be a doctor, I need you to be a banker, I need you to be, you know, those sophisticated titles. That's what the parents tell us. But as we grow, and as you become a part of the bigger society, you go to school, you join your peers, and then you also get exposed to media and everything. You realize that really those titles <laughs> belong to the people in professions where celebrity status doesn't exist. I remember when I was growing up, everyone in my class hated being a teacher. Like, you say, I want to be a teacher, and they laugh at you like, you want to be a teacher? No one wants to be that. So the point I'm trying to make right now is that somehow the illusion of celebrity has ruined our kids, it has ruined our children and has ruined our societies. If we are unable to fix our eyes, we are unable to focus our energies on building different aspects of our lives, different aspects of our societies, in health, in agriculture in business, you know, different aspects, industry, different aspects, we can't really do them 
because we have majority of our young people taking the root of the celebrity status. They want to be that singer. They want to be that comedian. And that is where they are putting all their energy in. So from the Tribal Root Studio, because every time we come here to speak, we are waking people up. We, we are asking them to, re, to realize our potentials, realize how much more we can do if we expand our knowledge, if, if we, we think outside the box. How much more could we achieve if we had very many young people interested in technology? How much more could we achieve if we had very many young people thinking about innovation? If we had countless young people thinking about business. So what has resulted is in most of our communities, even the old people, the adults are unable to articulate what Africa's problem is. They are unable because they haven't grown or haven't been groomed to think as builders. They haven't been groomed to, to think as winners. Everyone has this illusion. And if you notice, you will see that most of the bad vices, most of the bad behaviors, most of the things we don't like, especially in the African context, are promoted by celebrities. If there is anything bad that we would not want our children to be a part of, they will get it from the celebrity. Because these small, small examples are used as models to shape society with what the devil wants through music, film, fashion. And they always get it all the time. So from the Tribal Rule Studio, you are our celebrity if you, you are thinking about building your community in the other aspects that are not the popular ones. And we would like to promote all those celebrities in farming, celebrities in medicine, celebrities in health, celebrities in innovation, celebrities in manufacturing, Celebrities in technology, those are the kinds that we need and we want to see very many people delighting in that pursuit where we know, yeah, I would like to be, I also have a desire, I would like to be that woman. I would like to be that woman that would be a celebrity in business. I would like to have a booming business which is successful and is serving countless people in my community and that's that's my desire so we have to model we have to give our young people models to look up to in all these areas of development in all these aspects of life so that our life won't be limited to the popular celebrities that really haven't added much to our lives, to our communities. From the Tribal Studio, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the notification button, and make sure to share this video to whoever needs. If you would like to contact us, please contact us through the details in the comments below. And we thank you so much for being a part of this movement. Tribal Root Studio wishes you the best this year. Blessings and peace.